Hey everyone, welcome if you're new to this channel and welcome back to Pew New <clears throat> I mean anime slash <laughs> chapter reviews where I give you updates on chapters in return, you give me your soul and your subscription. Look at this graph. Subscribe. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> First news, the Villain League has successfully escaped from the war. Well, mm, I'm not really sure if you can call it a successful escape seeing as a lot of villains were captured and some even went missing when Ginormica started rampaging around. So it's safe to assume those ones that went missing are pretty much dead, but I'm not supposed to assume it's not part of my job description here in any news. Anyways, next news. Toga Himiko has gone missing, even from the League of Villains, so who knows what we could see from her in the series, we don't know what it could spell. Not only has her quirk developed, thus giving her the ultimate stealth abilities, it seems as if this creator is really focused on Toga for some reason. I mean, eh, she kinda should because Toga is the best girl, but I'm not supposed to be giving my opinion. <laughs> now this definitely means that we will be seeing more of Toga Himiko and her newly developed abilities later on in the series, perhaps in the next arc which leads to next news now heroes are dying and rightfully so okay so no war should be left without any death and with that said there have been many casualties during this war miracle lost her arm against a high end nomu you know the bunny hero and now the students surround the body of one of their beloved teachers now that's right you heard me correctly midnight has fallen in battle and now UA won't be the same. The fandom has lost a great piece of fan service, so that won't be the same either. So just F in the chats, just a second of, you know, giving respects. Yeah. Alright, moment over. <laughs> now with that said, at least we have one less potential traitor to worry about in UA. And <laughs> with that said, next news. Andava, the number one hero, has contemplated quitting the hero gig. After all that's happened in terms of Darby and the whole cancel culture scheme that he tried to pull, the flaming hero has contemplated quitting his job, moving overseas and probably starting a new life. The only thing that prevents Endeavor from currently doing this is that he doesn't have the funds to travel overseas, which honestly I kind of find a bit unusual seeing as you are, like you would think that the number one hero would get paid enough to afford regular overseas travel because not only are you number one hero, you have a lot of merch made in your name as well as making a lot of TV appearances unless those are free. So I find it quite strange but again, I'm not supposed to be giving my opinion. Now Endeavor is not the only hero who's contemplated quitting their job. The devastation left behind by the villains really played a role in testing the morality of some of these heroes and some cannot handle that type of pressure so it kind of makes sense and at this moment we really are able to tell which heroes would be worthy of Stain's blade or his mercy which leads us on to next news Tomura Shigaraki has been reported dead after his battle with all of these heroes including Endeavor and Izuku Midoriya but his death is not enough to hold this goat down because even though he's died and the machine that is supposed to resurrect him has been destroyed Tomura Shigaragi has somehow found a way to come back through life through sheer animosity what I'm talking about that's why he's the MVP that's why he's the goat the goat <laughs> he is practically in that state of mid death where he's half dead half alive but uh, it kind of actually sounds cool but then again I'm not supposed to be giving my opinion now while in this state all for one is able to speak through Tomura with this ability and all for one has now called for the remaining nomus to complete one last task which leads us on to next news we have a new arc yep <laughs> The breakout arc will soon go underway. Uh, All for One has requested for the Nomus to break out of prison, and this makes sense as all of the villains are struggling against Tomura and they're still recovering from the war. A lot of people have lost great assets, so this would be the absolute perfect time for All for One to like reappear and strike while the iron is hot. But with this breakout happening, you know what that means? Stain is coming back! <laughs> Yes! Yes!
Nice. <laughs> I fucking told you, okay? I told you. I told you this was gonna happen, and I was right! Okay? I was right! Okay? It wasn't a matter of... Yeah. Because all of you people were like, oh, this wasn't gonna happen. And I predicted this in my the Future of Stain video, right? Link will probably be in the description. And some people called me too wishful. They called me too crazy. Well, suck ass, because I was right, okay? I was right! Now, it's just a matter of my speculations coming true, which I actually do hope does happen. I mean, I do have a bad predictability rate. But, <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm so excited for this arc to happen. But then again, I'm not supposed to be giving my opinion. And we are about to feast this arc that's going to happen. We are really about to feast. And I really hope everybody else looks forward to it as well and enjoys it as much as I will. Now, with all of that said, there's a red button underneath this video. You should definitely click on it as well as click on that button next to it to get updated on new any news updates and more. Do it. Do it now. Okay? Why haven't you done it? Oh, you have. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Biscode signing out. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.